coming up to the tail end of the season, we've got two huge games to show you today. The first being a league game against Manchester City, who are out for revenge after we beat them 4-0 at the Etihad earlier in the season. So, uh, they're going to want to absolutely destroy us. We've also got Tottenham in the FA Cup fifth round, who Tottenham just knock us out of all the cups. We're kind of used to this at this point. Will this be the year we knock Tottenham out of the FA Cup? What's going on guys? My name is Adam. I am a super swan and welcome to episode 57 of the FM21 Deadpool Diaries. We are coming up to about 10 games, 9 games to go now. We are still in 5th place. Although to be fair, Spurs do have 2 games in hand over us. So they're very likely to take over us in the league table. So we'll probably be around 6th place. Now it's important to see the Spurs won the League Cup. Second year in a row they won the League Cup. And second year in a row they knocked us out of it and won the competition. So... If Spurs knock Rex about the cup, they're going to go on to win it. So what that does mean is that if Spurs finish anywhere in the top six, then seventh place will get a European place. So we are realistically in a European hunt. Now, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves, right? We're not going to finish Champions League. It ain't going to happen. But I think we can start to dream of a potential Europa League place come the end of the season, which... Considering it's our first year in the Premier League, I would have bit your hand off. I would have bit your hand off. And since you last left us, been a bit of a mixed bag of results, really. Two draws, a win and a loss. We drew against bottom of the league, Middlesbrough. We didn't play well. We drew against Leeds, 2-2 draw. We should have come out of that with a win. We did lose against Chelsea, which was to be expected. But we did beat Everton 2-1 in our latest game. So that does set us up quite well for the Man City and Spurs game today. I'm not expecting much out of Man City. And to be honest, I'm not expecting too much out of Spurs. But, you know, coming up to the last seven league games, eight league games of the season, we are in a European hunt in the league. So if you are excited for potential European encounters, drop a subscription on the channel, leave a like down below for some more Football Manager 2021 goodness. So we'll get the Man City game underway, and this is going to be the side that we're going to put out for the Man City game. So, big team, we're going defensive, so so doing goal. Glober, Lawrence, Gila, and Laird at the back. Maz is going to be in the ball-winning midfielder role, because he does that really, really well. So we're going to put him in the defensive midfield. Saws and Young in the middle. For Sivahiri, Denise, and Ola Riaga starting up front. The only major injuries, Brajkovic, he's going to be back for full fitness by the Spurs game. Casanova's been out since January. Lahadji's out for five to seven weeks. Apart from that, we've got a full strength squad to choose from. So I'll take a draw against Man City. We did beat them 4-0 earlier in the season. So as I mentioned, they're going to want revenge against us. And I think it could be ugly. But do you know what? We'll give it a good go. We'll see what happens, and uh, if we if we get a point, that's four points out of two games at a Man City. So I have outclassed Pep Guardiola if that does happen, but we'll get the first game underway. Man City against Wrexham at the race course. Can we maybe get a point? Coming up to half time, nothing's happened. Absolutely nothing has happened. I've got no highlights to show you. Just It's just a, a nothing game. I mean, look at that. 0.03 XG compared to 0.16. There's been three shots all game, none on target. I mean, I'll take a nil-nil draw. I'll very happily take a nil-nil draw against Manchester City. Luis Denise is injured, so we'll bring him off. We will move. We'll bring Elias on, and we'll swap for Sifahiri over. So so far, so good, I guess. I mean, it's a bit boring to not show you anything, but I'll take a nil-nil. First highlight of the game, and we're in the second half. And Arturo Martinez coming up for Man City. Hernandez back to Martinez. 
Coming out wide, Lades lost his man, Phil Foden, into the box, Sterling shoot, and we do clear it away. Man City do get the first chance of this game. 70th minute, I've gone to balanced. I'm a bit worried that I, I want to go attacking, you know, but I'm worried that we're going to lose the nil-nil. And I'll take the point. We need as many points as we can get if we're going to get European football. Just looking at the ratings. For Sifa here, he's on a 6.2. So Ben Young can move out onto the wing. We'll maybe bring on Relish to play advanced playmaker. We'll give it to maybe 80 minutes, right? And maybe we go attacking. Man City from the throw. Mazza clears it away only as far as Ruben Neves. Man City got a through ball and that's going to be a goal. And Man City do take the lead. It's been a bit of a boring game. They say Soto made the mistake. Was it a mistake from the keeper? Let's have a look. Let's make the judgment for ourselves here. So Mazza clears it away. Nothing wrong there. Neves finds De Bruyne. Oh, they just split the defence. If anything, I blame the defence for letting him run through. So 76 minutes in, I think now is the time to go attack in. And I have finally put the 4-2-4 as an actual formation, as I use it quite often. So um, Gila, he's underperforming, so we'll move Maz up there. We'll bring on Paolo Sergio to be the advanced forward. We'll swap them two round because Ulriaga can't be a complete forward. So all three subs made. We're going to go attack in. We're 1-0 down, right? We've got nothing to lose. So we're going attack in. See how we get on. 85 minutes, Man City still 1-0 up. Although Ben Young with that chance has been the best. Oh, Lade, what are you doing? Lade, what are you doing, son? That's a straight red card as well. Two-footed challenge. What are you doing? That's not good. That's not good at all. We're down to 10 men. I think we're going to have to take the loss on this one. Ethan Lade, you could have thrown this all away for us. Saws from the free kick. Puts it in the box. Save from Edison. I think at this point, I'll just take the 1-0 loss. I'll cut my losses. Thank you very much, Man City. Thank you for coming to Wrexham. You can have your three points. Because if you think about it, right? We won their game away from home 4-0. So really, we're up on the aggregate. We would win this 4-1 if it came to uh, an aggregate score. But and sadly, it doesn't quite work out like that in the Premier League. But Martinez now finds De Bruyne, pulling all the strings from the midfield, cross it in the box, and they do hit the crossbar. I think Man City are looking for goal number two year. I think they're more likely to score than we are. As Martinez, they just pass it around for fun. They know we're a man down. We're missing a man in the midfield. And Ruben Neves just passing it around for fun. Who's going to take the shot? Look at this. It's just silky football. Soto makes the save. Man City from the throw. They're not done yet. Since we've been down the 10 men, it's been all Man City. And to be honest, I can't really blame them. I can't really complain. They've got the man advantage. And they've just put a ball past the post. But we'll watch this out together. There's only about 10 seconds of the game left to go. Bernardo Silva puts it in. Header over the bar. And we'll take the 1-0 loss. Ethan Laid getting a red card. We could have maybe come back into it, but yeah, I think they, as soon as the man went off, you could see Man City each grown into the game. It was just one of those days. I'm not going to complain too much. It is Man City at the end of the day, but I think Ethan Laid getting sent off did not help. So I have asked for another, well, I say another, we haven't really got any, but I've asked for an affiliate club. So the board will be looking for an affiliate club for us, but Fasi Fahiri is now a natural at left wing. Thank you very much. I'm just going to find him as part of the code of conduct. Two foot the challenges, mate. You can't go in two footed. So it does put a bit of gap between us and the Champions League clubs now. We are six points clear, well, six points away rather from Man City and Chelsea. Spurs are probably going to overtake us as well. That's to be expected. I think we're probably looking down as opposed to looking up. But the fact we're fifth, right? 30 games in, we are fifth. I, I would have taken that at the start of the season. So let's go on to the Spurs FA Cup game. They've knocked us out of the Carabao Cup for the last two years. They've knocked us out of several cups over the years. Is this finally going to be the day we knock Spurs out of a cup? 
The latest youth intake has come through, and we've got two quite exciting prospects to come from this particular class of youth intake. We've got Ben Johnson, 15-year-old promising winger, one and a half star current ability, four and a half star potential. He's already got good physicals, crossings 10, dribbling 16. So he could develop into a nice tidy little winger. So Ben Johnson will keep an eye on you. And the other one is Matty Brewerton. He's a four and a half star potential, one and a half star current ability, advanced playmaker. Again, he's got good flair, good work rate. First touch and technique are pretty good. Passing could be better. But, you know, he's only 15. We've got to give him a chance to develop. But those are the, the two top prospects coming through. And if you want to know how Ben Johnson has the hairline of a 35-year-old man rather than a youth sort of picture, it's all part of Zealand's face pack, his new gen face pack. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to know how all that works. That's how all the players that are regens or new gens in my save have real life faces so team selection ahead of the spurs fa cup game and we've got a bit of a problem because three of our first team defenders are suspended gila is suspended laird is suspended and Mazza is suspended casanova's already injured so that's four defenders that are out for this game so we've got a little bit of a unfamiliar backline so soak doesn't go Glauber, Lawrence, Bednarek, and Relish has had to come in to play right back. Young in the ball winning midfield role. Welton, Philippe, and Soares, Fassi Fahiri, Denise, and Oriaga keep their places. So, um, yeah, if we need a backup centre back, we are screwed. We are screwed. So, uh, we'll get the game underway. It is space, so I am going defensive again, but, you know, if we go 1 0 down or 2 0 down, I'll just go to our attacking formation, try and see. If we can pull it back at all, but Spurs do have a tendency of knocking us out of FA Cups and League Cups. So there is a little bit of revenge on the card for Wrexham today. But can we finally get a win over Spurs and reach the quarterfinals of the FA Cup? Spurs from the throw. Finds Infante back to Sander Berg. Long ball in the box and Jason Lawrence. Or Jamie Lawrence, rather. Jason Lawrence is the youngster. Jamie Lawrence is... The defender. And whilst I was in my confusion, Ulriaga scored a goal. We're 1-0 up. Jamie, right, Jamie Lawrence. Yeah, Jamie Lawrence is the defender. Jason Lawrence is the midfielder. We've got to do some other names. They're going to confuse me. But we're 1-0 up, right? So that doesn't matter. Ulriaga finds the space. Good pass from Denise. He's one-on-one. -on -one, lobs it into the top corner. Ulriaga, top-class striker. Come to half-time. Very quiet game. Similar to the Man City game. Which is absolutely fine by me, because that's the whole point of the defensive formation, is to kind of frustrate the bigger sides and strike them on the counter. So I'm happy with how things are going so far. Anything major? Relish? He's injured. I haven't got any more right-backs to put on. I haven't got any more right-backs. Casanova's injured. Laird is suspended. Ben, direct, do you want to play right back? <laughs> Glauber, do you want to play left back? You could do, actually. Glauber can play right back. Brauschkovic can come on to play left back. Soar's on 6.3, but I would like to keep him on the pitch for the moment. But we're having a right back issue, yeah? Free kick from Son. Puts it into the box. Jamie Lawrence again headers it away. And that's how the first goal started. Can we get another? For Siva Hiri, he sees Ulriaga, but he goes on his own. Ulriaga, the pass was there, ready to be made. And now Spears are going to come at us on their own counter-attack. As Impale plays it straight to Ruben Soto. But is that the end of the highlight? Soto gives the ball away. Oh, that was close. Throw in for Wrexham. Brajkovic to Young. Back to the left back. Plays it upfield to absolutely no one. And now this is where things get a bit nervy because Spurs can pull a little bit of brilliance here and get themselves back in the game. As Infante plays to Sanderberg, Harry Kane. Oh, it's a lovely bit of play. Regulion puts it in. Son with a header off the crossbar. Spurs looking for the equaliser. 75 minutes. Soares is still on a 6.2. 
So we'll bring on Callum Barlow and we'll move him up to advanced playmaker. So we'll bring our captain on, the man who's been with us since the National League. For see for here, he's also a bit tired, so we'll bring him on for him. Elias can come off the bench. So all of our changes made. Can we hang on for a 1-0 win? 83rd minute, roughly 10 minutes to go. Can Wrexham finally knock Spurs out of a cup and reach the quarterfinals as Denise beats the slide? He's one-on-one. -on -one. Luis Denise buries it in. 2-0 to Wrexham. That should be enough for us to reach the FA Cup quarterfinal. What a game from Wrexham. We've played the game plan to a tee. And that's how we're going to beat the big teams at this moment in time. Play defensive. Strike on the counter. Buries it in the corner. 2-0 Wrexham. Free kick from Son. Puts it in. Off the crossbar again. Spears have been unlucky today. They have hit the crossbar twice. But Elias on the counter. He's one-on-one. -on -one, and that this is the tactic, right? We literally, as soon as we get the ball, pump forward to try and get ourselves within a chance of scoring. And it has worked today, and it's worked in the past. I'm telling you, the defensive formation works. Full-time approaching. Wrexham have done the job. We have reached the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. We finally knock out Spurs. We're very happy with that. And that will take us into the quarterfinals. And I think we're going up against Brentford, who are in the championship. So that should be a, uh, a favourable tie. So let's have a look. So for Siva here, he's now perfected being able to play on the left wing. We do draw Brentford, who are seventh in the league now. Well, in the championship, away from home. So if we look at the FA Cup draw, let's have a look. So Middlesbrough, Chelsea, Brentford, Wrexham, Fulham, Man City, Liverpool, United. So we've got a very favourable draw there in the quarterfinal. And if we can make the semi-finals... We may be within a chance. Now, I'm not going to get too far ahead of myself here, but oh, we've, brought, we've played them straight away. The quarterfinal is in three days' time. We play the fifth round, and the quarterfinal is in three days' time. I, I, I'm not coming back in three days. I'm sorry. We're not coming back in three days' time. So we'll play the Brentford game off camera. If we win, I'll come back for the semi-final, wherever that lands. So... We'll come back for the FA Cup semi-final if we win. If we don't win, we'll come back for a round... Look, well, we could come back at the end of the season, couldn't we, really? Because nothing's stopping us from coming back. So either end of the season or semi-final. Hopefully it's semi-final, but I'll leave the competition screen up. So if we win, semi-final. If we don't, end of the season. I think we can take Brentford personally, so hopefully, fingers crossed... It's a semi-final. But leave a like if you enjoy, guys. Subscribe to the channel for Football Manager 2021 content. We will be uploading Deadpool Diaries every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 6 p.m. GMT. Tune in next time for hopefully an FA Cup semi-final. If not, we'll come back for the last two games of the league season. And where will Wrexham end up? Because we're in Europa League places at the moment. Are we in for next season a European adventure? Thank you very much for watching.